Hello, Gov. Hello, Governor. Hello, Governor. Hello, Governor. Hey, everyone. This is Josh from Before, and I'm here with McFarland Toys DC Direct 7-inch page punchers, John Constantine. This is going to be the first McFarland DC Direct figure that we are looking at. Of course, it is John Constantine, isn't it? And it should come as no surprise that right now we are starting to see a lot of long-awaited wish list figures. Constantine here, that Nightfall Bane and Deathstroke and other new reveals. Think about it, folks. Todd got a three-year DC license. It ends at the end of 2022. This is probably the last quarter that they will have sales data from before they renegotiate the license, meaning... Yeah, they're hitting us with a bunch of characters we've been waiting on for a long time. Constantine has been chief among them for me personally. Not only do I love this character, but it's great to see some civilian style figures from the seven inch line. I know a lot of people are gonna be making a commish Gordon out of this guy. You best believe that I got two of them because I'm gonna be using that trench coat to make a seven inch drop shadow. Drop shadow, of course, being my comic character and we have just together Cross the 100% funding goal to fund a small print run of the book. Those of you that have backed it are going to be receiving your copies. It is a confirmed success, and we still have more than two weeks to go. So it's not too late to contribute, and if you don't want to take too much away from your figure budget, but you still want to show your support, even chipping in a dollar really does help, because every time someone new supports it, our backer count goes up, and that is a very important number to be going up as well. So... Thank you to everyone who has been supporting it, sharing it, leaving positive feedback. It's a pretty big milestone, folks. Together, we have become published comic creators. It's quite a thing. So like I said, thank you for supporting it. Thank you for enduring this ongoing promotional onslaught. Now let's get this page puncher out of the box. Since this is our first page puncher, I think we should look at the box here. This very nice black backdrop with the DC Direct. Logo tiled on the back there at a diagonal angle. Very nice. He has got this Black Adam promotional comic also packaged with a card. The card appears to just be the comic cover and not a large image of the character or figure like the multiverse line. And then, of course, just your classic standard hockey puck that we see with every multiverse release. The book is Black Adam... Heart of Decay, I imagine this is the same issue that's coming with every figure from this 7-inch Page Punchers line. I'm assuming it's a one-shot. I'm not certain. The book looks not half bad. The book has artist credits on it. I really think these should also have that. I mean, the, the figure itself, right? Like, these creators got their names on it right there. Um... Why, why, how about the folks that made the toy? Anyway, this is great. You know, comics in people's hands. That, that's, that's the good shit right there. So I'm happy that they're doing this. All right, now here he is. Looking pretty rad. You know, I think they kind of exercise some restraint. You know, sometimes they go really hard with giving us windswept capes and jackets and things like this. I think they tried to not upset anybody. Leave him pretty neutral stance they've loaded them up with some accessories i'm sure someone will manage to get bent out of shape by there being you know just a tiny little authorial detail there putting a little hole in the fun little detail like that that i really love but sometimes if you do anything outside of the outside of the norm people get upset they'll ding you for it this is a great looking fig i don't know if he looks exactly like sting but he does have his signature blonde hair Great looking head sculpt, bit of stubble on there that looks better, I think, than any of the other five o'clock shadows they've added. Of course, this great looking trench coat that many people are going to use to create a commish. Gordon could use a wash, but it does look really great. T-pose there at the arms. Not a ton of the rotator cuff sort of action there. Really good looking bicep cuts uh, with the wrinkles of the jacket on there. 
Really great double elbows. They don't look too bad from the side there. Of course, this hand right here is gonna be a smoking hand. They didn't give him a SIG out of the box, but we are going to give him one. That's right, it's time for another episode of SIGs for Figs. We're gonna be starting with something like this. Okay, we rolled that up and singed the tip a little bit. Not perfect looking, but I think it's gonna suit our needs. So the fingers are very like grubby on all of these hands. They're big, fat fingers. A little disproportionate, but we might be happy that we have that extra bit to work with here. These aren't actually, I might need to force a little separation there. Another reason I'm glad I got two of these, just in case I screw one up. Boom, there you go. Now I can step out for some fresh air. That rocks. I haven't looked at the torso at all. He definitely does have a bit of a crunch. This tie hangs completely loose here, which is awesome. Yeah, great action at the torso. It's a bit gappy right here. It does feel like it's kind of floaty. You're going to be able to get a lot of dynamic movement out of that. Movement at the hips feels pretty good. Very stretchy pelvis here that looks really excellent. The wrinkled pants with the belt there. He could have been a gymnast. A little bit of rotation there. So the double knees, they feel like they sit a little high on his leg. And the tooling cutouts there are Pretty obvious, very noticeable. I appreciate that they tried to match those wrinkles, get it sort of fit in there, but the slacks are really nice. They got a couple snags in them there. Obviously his knee is blown out. The paint right there, the skin on the knee, it's not a great paint app. It's not hitting the edges. Um, and then he's wearing these kind of beetle boots. No sculpted. Ball joints on this guy, the, the ball joints are tucked up pretty far there. So they do have a decent dece range. This guy's kicking ass so far, let's look at his accessories. He's got this occult book with a pentagram on the cover. It's blank on the inside. I think I'm gonna try, get a really tiny little brush and paint some sort of Necronomicon looking skulls and ghouls and glyphs and what have you. Could even compare this to something like NECA's NECA Romanomicon, which actually does open. Those are the kind of little doodles I would love to add to this book. Obviously, very small canvas, but I mean, this guy opens and closes and shit. This is a rad little accessory. This is not quite that cool, but it's it's fairly cool nonetheless. And of course, he's meant to hold it like this. And I think this is where we become grateful for those big fat fingers so that he can do some reading. And actually, you can see here the um, the way that this um, hand has been sculpted. There's kind of a little notch there where the, um, the binding of that fits real snug right there. And of course, he can read that at his leisure. And then the other accessory is this magical pentagram projection, which is attached to the hand casting the spill, so you'll be swapping that hand out. This looks cool. That paint on there really makes it pop. I think putting it permanently attached to the hand, maybe not ideal, but probably the right choice. That is a very fun accessory, very in character. I'd really like to go way down the rabbit hole and give this guy a ton of accessories. Obviously, we gave him a SIG. I think he could use some tarot cards, maybe some pendant talisman type artifacts would be very good this guy rocks folks this guy freaking rocks this is i think what we have been waiting patiently for for a couple years now this is this is amazing now obviously we don't have the complete lineup here but we are on our way to assembling our justice league dark i know harley's not in it but it took forever to get her in that pose i'm not taking her out pretty cool obviously the dc direct figures are gonna stand up right next to the multiverse ones and be just fine
Not really sure what, if any, distinction there will be between the multiverse figures and the DC Direct ones. And while we're looking at this crew, you may know that frequent commenters and participants on this channel are inducted into the From Before Figs Rogues Gallery. Today's entry is going to be our friend Ben Yo Boy, who has been turning out to the live streams and the game streams lately, having a great time participating. And I got to admit, just the other night, Ben dropped a $10 super chat during the game stream, which is greatly appreciated, Ben. Of course, you're all very welcome to take a cue from Ben in that regard. But seriously, it's greatly appreciated. Ben, your boy, welcome to the Rogues Gallery. Thanks for being a friend of the channel. Thank you for watching. Let's hear it in the comments. Looking forward to seeing you soon in another stream. All right, folks. That's John Constantine, a long-awaited McFarlane DC figure. I think this guy really delivers. A paint wash will go a long way, but other than that, looks really nice. Great execution. This should be a crowd pleaser, and this should also be heavily reused as custom fodder. Nice to be getting some seven inch civilian style figures. All right, folks, page punchers. I'm stoked about these. I know we were uh, we were about to build the uh, Atrocitus build a fig, but then these guys came in the mail. We gotta, we gotta postpone that. We gotta, we gotta check out these page punchers because these are dynamite. And I'm very interested in seeing what, what, the, what the DC Direct situation is gonna be going forward, what, what Todd has in mind for that. All right, guys. More Page Puncher reviews coming soon. Of course, thank you all again for contributing to the Kickstarter and joining me on that journey. I will talk to you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.